For more on the implications of young talent leaving northeastern China, I want to bring in Liu Chengsheng. He's an associate professor at Central University of Finance and Economics. Thank you for joining us from Beijing. Thank you. Professor, what needs to happen for young, smart people to stay in northeast China and keep their talent at home? I think uh, uh, there are a lot of reasons for that. And uh, uh, the first reason I think is the uh, bad, environment, uh, bad business environment in the northeast area. Uh, and uh, so the enterprises cannot make profits. And uh, so there are, uh, uh, there are no job opportunities or no uh, high level job opportunities for the talents here. So that's the reason. Yeah. Well, that being said, that takes me to my next question. What will it take for companies and corporations to make their headquarters there? Well, uh, it's a very important, uh, I think it's a very good question about that. Uh, and uh, to solve that problem, I think the supply side reform and even the political reform is very important. Uh, I think uh, the many enterprises didn't want to choose uh, Northeast uh, to base themselves uh, because, partly because of the low efficiency and the corruption of local government. And uh, uh, the other reason is the, the region is kind of uh, isolated from uh, other regions in China uh, and uh, in the world, uh, both uh, geog geographically and economically. So uh, the supply side reform and the political reform are very important. And also, I think the local enterprises need to incorporate themselves uh, with, uh, into the uh, communication and the exchange with other, uh, other enterprises, both domestically and globally. Because as we heard in our story, uh, businesses that are there, while they offer higher salaries, that just isn't luring people to come. Well, uh, I think this is a just a short-term choice. Uh, uh, of course, uh, this will just for last for a while, uh, and then we have to uh, give it back to the market. And uh, but this is uh, also a very successful uh, experience in Shenzhen, Guangzhou, Hangzhou, and uh, many other Chinese cities. Uh, so the northeast region can copy this model, uh, but they they cannot just copy this model but also other models, like they have to stimulate the internal growth engine in the, uh, of local uh, enterprises in this region. Professor, do you think we'll see a trend, a reverse trend of young people rejecting the big busy cities to stay in quieter regions of the country? Uh, excuse me, I didn't hear this question. Do you think we'll see a reverse trend at some point of young people rejecting the big, busy cities to stay in the smaller, quieter regions? Oh, yes, I, I think so. In, in fact, uh, uh, personally speaking, uh, I'm the master supervisor of, of a lot of students. So my students, a lot of my students choose to go to the second tier cities and uh, uh, even small cities because they can find a very good future there, and they can, uh, you know, have a successful career there. And also the, uh, the cost of uh, living in the first tier cities are very, very high. Yeah. All right, Professor Liu Chencheng, thank you so much for joining us.